The Bible is not a book for material wealth. No. You don't use the Bible to teach money making. No. It is a poor material for money making. Very poor. If you follow the Bible to make money, you'll be poor all your life. That's why the poorest people are in church. There is no connection between theology and economics. They are not connected in any way. No connection. That's why when you went to economics class, they didn't use Bible as a textbook. And those of you who did CRK, they never use economics book as CRK. Each of them is in their line. And when you specialize, when you specialize in economics of, or accounting, no Bible is considered. Because it is not a material for wealth creation. The Bible is a material for the eternity of man. How man and God relates, makes peace, and lives in harmony on earth to guarantee eternity. That's what the Bible offers. I'm teaching good. Yes. That's what the Bible offers. The Bible doesn't teach anybody to make money. All the rich people in the Bible use secular means to make money. From Abraham died. Abraham was a shrewd, wicked businessman. He was an oppressor. Abraham, go read your Bible. He was an oppressor and a very smart one at that. When he discovered he was broke, he used his wife as collateral to bring money. And men that fell for the beauty of his wife paid dearly. You don't understand. Go and read your Bible. Somebody was telling me somewhere. But Solomon prayed after giving God a thousand burnt offerings. And in that night, God said to Solo, Solo, what do you want? Solo say, I want wisdom. God said, I will not only give you wisdom, I will give you money. That's what you read in the Old Testament. Think with me. Solomon was a king. No king was broke. Solomon doesn't need to give God offering for God to make him wealthy. By his natural office, he was wealthy. Remember, all the wealth of David was kept for Solomon. He wasn't a broke man looking for money. So he didn't need to offer offerings to make wealth. He was already wealthy. And Solomon was very wicked. He oppressed poor people, oppressed them. With taxes, serious taxes, and collected and collected. That's why when his children came, they said, Ah, our fathers use smaller measures. We we will flog you with scorpions. Because they learned the tricks from their father on how to make wealth, not from God. Seller. See, I hear you. Why do we come to church? To encounter eternal realities. Eternal realities. Every other thing you can get out. The only thing you cannot get outside are eternal realities. Why? That is why God has set pastors to feed you with eternal realities. So you arrive at a place of fulfillment. See, in the secular, you can succeed, but you're not fulfilled. That's why politicians keep amassing wealth and they're not satisfied. They keep because there's a vacuum in them seeking for fulfillment that money cannot satisfy. The reason is because that space, only eternal realities will fill it. And let me tell you, you may not have too much money, but you're fulfilled because you have found your place in Christ. What did Jesus say to the woman? The water you drink, you will keep being thirsty. But the water that I shall give you, once you drink it, you never thirst. Meaning, I am through satisfaction. I'm teaching good. 